So, I thought I'd do a unboxing, or unbagging, of my new paddle. It's by Redtail Paddles in near Camelford, Ontario. And this one was somewhat custom made. Um, John Bell, really nice guy, runs Redtail Paddle, has been there for a long time. And uh, we had a number of conversations because I had two of his older paddles and I wanted the new one to be very similar. And uh, if there was any changes in how he made them, I really wanted mine to be similar to my older ones. So I'm going to do a unbagging and uh, I'm going to oil this paddle. I prefer the oil over the varnish on paddles. I find it nicer on the hands and uh, not much maintenance to it and the varnish doesn't pile up. Um, I have two older paddles of John's. I'll show you. This is one of them. So these are a laminated paddle with some different woods. At uh, some point I wondered, hmm, I wonder if I could strip these down because they had multiple coats of varnish on them and strip those down and just oil them. And I looked on the internet and basically everyone that I seen talk about it said, no, you can't, they'll come apart, the glue will come apart, different woods will swell differently and the paddle will come apart. But no one said they did it and had those problems. So I thought to myself, I'll just give it a try. So I stripped this one down. I actually stripped two of them down. I have another one here, very similar paddle. I stripped those down. I put about three to four good coats of hemp seed oil on them and uh, carried on. And uh, one of them went on a big Mississauga River trip, eight days, lots of rain, lots of paddling, left in the wet grass overnight, um, really no worries about it and came back absolutely fine. Um, I can't promise that would work for every laminated paddle like this but the ones from Redtail Paddle and John um, definitely stood up to a, a quite a torture test. Um, I've had no problems with them. And, uh, but I recently ordered another paddle from them. Um, so I'm going to add in what I do to get the oil on them. And uh, I always like when that first coat gets on and you bring out the color in the grain. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh, but yeah, those are my two. And they are simply oiled and they have stood up wonderfully to the uh, wet environments. And, uh, but yeah, this is the new baby. I'll do kind of an unboxing or unbagging and uh, we'll throw some oil on it, see how it comes out. And maybe in a few weeks or months, I'll do a do a little short video just to show how it's looking after some time. So this will be my unbagging rather than unboxing. Just comes wrapped in a bit of plastic. Brand new, right out of the factory. I actually went and picked it up. Uh, I was gonna try to talk to him about maybe making a video at the factory. And uh, he was pretty busy that day, so I didn't ask him. Uh, the ones that are varnished usually have these decals on them and uh, the varnish over top. Uh, so he threw in a couple of decals for me and a little bit of information about what I ordered and about the company. And, uh, yeah, Red Tail Paddles, uh, just outside of Campbellford, Ontario. So, we'll take that off. And we'll give everything a once over. Before I start oiling it, I'll show you the one other thing I got John to do for me. And... That is that. 
It might be better that way. I got him to engrave it with my name and uh, EL Trippers, the name of the channel and kind of the name I like to use. But that's uh, one piece cherry, 60 inches long. We'll get some oil out and steam it around. So this is this one is uh, hemp oil. I just think they sell it under the brand Badger Oil, um, and I've also used grapeseed oil, uh, cold pressed grapeseed oil. Uh, you want any of the drying oils? You'll see where it's dribbled a little around the top. It, it kind of dries. Any of these drying oils work good, and uh, rub them in real good. Let them sit, dry for a while. Wipe off any excess and uh, repeat. I've had the best luck when I've just kept doing it maybe you know once a week over the winter just give a little rub wipe off the excess and just let that keep saturating in and and uh, yeah as long as you wipe off the excess you won't get that hard crust it'll dry right in. So let's see what we can do for our grain here. We'll rub some of this in. And you can see the colors start to change and the grain really start to shine now. And I just love that look. But with this being brand new and raw, it will probably drink a lot of oil. A lot, a lot of oil at the start. But you can definitely see the uh, change happening there as it sucks up that oil so this was one piece of cherry so again that's the uh, other side that I haven't done yet and uh, that first coat has already really changed the look of it and really making the grain pop so we'll just flip that over we'll run a little more down this side Rub that in. I have no affiliation with Red Tail Paddles. I have a couple of them, really like them. When I phoned John and talked to him about making this one for me, we hit it off quite well. So. I have family that lives not too far from his factory, so that worked too. And, uh, yeah, that's really, really coming along. And I've got a nice sunny day today, so I will be able to set this out in the sun. And this raw wood like this will drink up that oil in a hurry. really see the grain starting to come out in that. I'm not saying this is the best or the only way to oil a paddle. I'm not saying that they wouldn't all other paddles might come apart and delaminate from the uh, no finish on them but I've had really good luck with these and been really happy. But I'll probably, just like that, put on, it'll probably be five or six coats. We'll just be able to go on and maybe 10 or 15 minutes in the sun and they'll be dry. Another coat, another coat, another coat. And then after that, maybe once a week, I'll rub some in and but this will brand new wood like this will suck up a lot of oil and uh, I'll just keep putting it to it over the winter 
maybe once a month, once every two or three weeks. I'll put another little bit on and it'll soak up most of it, any excess. After a, an hour or so, I'll wipe off or just rub it in and uh, it'll keep getting darker and it'll keep soaking up oil. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this paddle. Quite nice. Very familiar. That was one of the things I wanted to be similar to what I had. And uh, I'll just use it. And if it gets chipped or marked or gouged, those are all part of the memories. So, yeah. But put my name on it. And the EL trippers. So, we'll let that sit in the sun a bit and we'll put a few more coats on. So that's after one coat, sat in the sun for quite a while, sucked it up pretty quickly. And those, that grain is really starting to show through. I'm really happy with that. That's a nice piece of wood. So yeah, we'll throw another coat on quick. And uh, it will probably just keep looking better. Get a little darker. So, that grain is really coming out, and the paddle's darkening a bit. This is the second coat, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's all I do. Just uh, even if they're hanging, and I notice them look a little dry, I'll throw a little more on because it will always be good for later the more that soaks into it. There's no additives in this oil, no drying agents like a lot of more wood finishing oils have drying agents in them and that way I don't really mind even just using my hand to rub some of this oil in. That's that. That's coat two. And uh, put it in the sun again for a little while. Then we'll have another look at it. I'll probably just do three today. Hang it up. Let it soak a little really good overnight. I'll do another two or three tomorrow. And get that oil right in there. But, uh, yeah, the grain's really showing up now. I like that. So, one hour later, and this is the third coat, this is the last one I'll video. But I'll put on quite a few more coats over time, and sometimes after a four or five nice paddles I might throw a little more on, but yeah, over the winter I'll put some on. but. Yeah, that grain's really, really starting to show. Hopefully it works out on the camera, it shows. But, uh, I'm pretty impressed. This side's really got a nice pattern to it. But that's about all. Once the, uh, once it's started to soak up a pretty good layer of oil, it's got a bit of a, a finish to it, just the rag a little bit. Oily. I usually put the rag in a Ziploc to keep it from drying out and uh, just rubbing it down with the rag sometimes is enough just to put a little a little bit on the outside and protect it so yeah but that's it so
So, there we go. Uh, hopefully you got a little information on at least how I like to finish a paddle. I really like that oil finish. And, uh, yeah, that's what I like to do. We'll get this out in the water in a few days and go for a paddle. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was at least interesting. And uh, if it was, maybe you could like the video or subscribe. Uh, there's some other outdoor content there. Uh, mostly in the summer it'll be paddling kind of stuff. In the winter, a lot of ice fishing. Snowmobile trips mostly. Two, two ice fish. And uh, yeah, the shoulder seasons could have various things. Maybe trips to the hunt camp or other odds and ends. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.